On this, the 400th year of the birth of the astronomical telescope, the science of astronomy is going through a fascinating change. Sure, traditional scopes like this are being used, but more and more astronomy is becoming about the network, and we're here on the roof of Pupin Hall here in Columbia University to take a look at the cutting edge of so-called robotic internet-controlled telescopes. Increasingly, the future of astronomy looks like this, a simple robotic telescope. It's a basic base, it's about $20,000. This is an off-the-shelf, sort of commercial, high commercial grade telescope. And they're using this to study transient lunar phenomena here in Upper Manhattan. This is cutting edge science. The robot does the controlling of the telescope, but the research is done on hard drives and computers downstairs. And when widened out to the wider internet, Essentially, anybody can participate in the cutting edge of researching the night sky. Now, when you take a look at the data that they acquire with that telescope, you get a sense for the fundamental shift in astronomy that's going on. It's a rather pedestrian shot of the moon. Most any telescope can, can take it. But what they've done is, is they compare shots taken every 20 seconds to look for changes on the moon's surface. So here's the visual shot. This is everything that's changed, which is essentially nothing. Not much has happened in this shot. But they have a tiny little close-up. See that little black circle? In that area, it's not observable to the naked eye. We'll go take a look at the, at the background piece of information here. You'll see a tiny little white highlight. That's the lunar transient. And you'll see the value add is in studying the data after it is acquired. Not about looking through a telescope at the night sky anymore. And that's the fundamental shift in astronomy. This virtual data is not only available to Dr. Kratz and his team, but to anybody connected to the internet. And there's several very interesting consumer services that provide this sort of information. Here's one of them. This is called SLU. This is their space camera. This is aimed mostly at school kids in the after school environment. Very interesting educational tool. Service called Light Buckets. This is aimed more at sort of the high end um, amateur astronomer, offers several telescopes around the world. But guess who the big movers and shakers are in virtual astronomy? You got it Microsoft and Google. Both companies see this as a media opportunity to drive traffic on the web. In fact, Google went as far to give as much as $10 million to the large Synoptic Survey Telescope, which is attempting to grab all the information from the night sky and make it available to every web user. Never in the history of astronomy has there ever been more information available to the average user. It's a remarkable paradigm shift in the industry. So you see the potential for this marvelous opportunity in astronomy. So this summer on a clear night sky, you won't have to find an expensive telescope, just a web connection and an interest in a particular astronomical body. And you potentially could be the next Galileo. I'm Jonathan Bloom, Columbia University, CNN Money.